The state government and Connex are trying to hose down a rift over who's to blame for our rail system failures. Reporter Hermione Kitson joins us live now from East Richmond Station. Hermione, what brought these tensions to the surface? Helen, the latest round of this very long-running blame game was sparked after a confidential business plan was leaked. Now, in it, Connex accuses the government of not doing enough to solve the problems crippling the rail network, and as a result, its reputation has been damaged. But, um, of course, as the operator vies to renew its contract later on this year, today it did a U-turn, insisting its partnership with the state government is stronger than ever. It may be frustrating for commuters, but Connex claims congestion has tarnished its name. According to its 2008 business plan, however, it isn't to blame. The Victorian government have not done their bit to provide public transport. And who's saying that? Connex the rail operator themselves. In its report, the rail operator says many problems are beyond its control. There's no doubt that we had a tough start to the year. The hot weather combined with union issues uh, did affect our performance and has undermined some of our customer experience. The Premier says the government has provided the infrastructure and funding to run the rail network smoothly. They're the operator. We give them the money to operate the system and the responsibility runs with them and rests with them. And the Transport Minister insists since the document's release, improvements have been made. And a number of those issues that they've raised have already been fixed, but some of them were long-term projects. Something even Connex was finally willing to concede today. The government is absolutely delivering on its promises as laid out in the $38 billion transport plan, as well as working with us to deliver new services, upgrade our maintenance facilities. But it might not be Connex that delivers the changes. Two other private operators are vying for the multi-million dollar contract, which expires in November. It may be Connex, it may be someone else, but ultimately the government's going to need to choose a provider that can work with them well to ensure that Melbourne has a reliable train system. Hermione Kitson, 10 News.